So I've been following a little bit of the coverage uh, in the wake of Mike Flynn's res resignation a couple of days ago. And a lot of interesting things are coming out. And I wanted to just comment on it a little bit. Because I'm starting to wonder if what's happened here isn't that the Trump administration understood quite clearly, and if you look at all the evidence, I think it's clear as day that the intelligence community was, or some members in the intelligence community, current or former members, had it in for Mike Flynn and it essentially decided that they wanted his head. And what it, I wonder if what has happened isn't that the, the administration decided that the best strategy for them going forward was to give them his head. In other words, to say, okay, you want Mike Flynn's resignation, you got it. Because what did that do? Uh, I can't remember the name of the, of the writer. Um, Eli Lake, I heard about uh, his article, I haven't read it, but I've heard about it, uh, in which he said, essentially, that the actual quote-unquote lie and the actual statements that Mike Flynn made on the phone with the Russian uh, foreign minister were not reasons for someone to be uh, to be ousted, but that in fact what has happened is that the intelligence community, members former or current, has leaked critically sensitive information in their attempt to have Mike Flynn's head. And essentially, the White House has exposed them by giving them what they wanted. The media now, whether it likes it or not, may have to deal with, and some, 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 some reporters who aren't quite in the tank to destroy Trump are talking to people and exposing information to make clear that what really is the problem here is that we have members of the intelligence community, current or former, who are, let's say, let's talk about the current ones. If they are current members of the intelligence community who are leaking information to destroy people in the Trump administration, that they are insubordinate hypocrites who are violating the law. And if they are former members, people who may have worked for the Obama administration, then they are corrupt political hacks. And this isn't the first time we've seen this with Republican administrations. There were a lot of leaks during the Bush administration that were clearly designed to harm the president and his policies and his reputation and to help the Democrats. And we are seeing the same thing now, only they've taken the gloves off and they are going absolutely nuts. What has to happen here? We have to drain this swamp. We have to find these people, flush them out into the open, expose them, arrest them, charge them, and be rid of them because they are basically traitors. Not because they're traitors to Trump, but because they're traitors to the commander-in-chief. If they are not willing to do what the commander-in-chief and his administration instruct them to do within the law and the Constitution, then they must leave. And if they do not leave, but instead stay behind and try to sabotage the administration, I'm sorry, that is basically treason, and it should be treated that way.